Hello everyone and welcome to the Event Planning Podcast. My name is Cheryl Lawson. As you can see today, we're going to do a little bit of show and tell. I'm so excited to introduce to you my very first uh, application for smartphones. It's called Event Planning Tools and it's actually two apps in one. It's a meeting budget calculator and a meeting space calculator. Right now it's only available on the Android platform. So those of you who have Android powered phones um, are certainly welcome to go to the marketplace now and download it. It's only 99 cents and it's called Event Planning Tools or you can search Party Aficionado. But I wanted to do a quick little demo and tell you a little bit about why I decided this particular um, functionality for my first app. Um, these tools aren't new. I mean budgets are, you can download budgets and get budgets all the time. But I asked myself as a planner, um, what tools would I want to have kind of at my ready or at the click of a thumb um, if I was out in mobile? And the two things that came to mind, one was a budget calculator, one so I could see where I was from a cost per person. A lot of people planning their own events and people planning uh, meetings and events tend to um, not pay attention to how much it costs for each person to walk in the door. Um, so this budget calculator will allow you to plug in all of the information from your event and calculate how much it costs for each person in attendance. So we'll look at really quickly how the functionality works. So you click on the first line, it's meeting budget. And what you'll see is it shows um, how many attendees are you planning to attend your event. Uh, and then if you're having sleeping rooms, you can enter in um, the number of rooms, how much it costs per night, and then how many nights will you be paying for the sleeping rooms. And then you hit menu and you go next and then you can start calculating food and beverages. Whether you're going to do breakfast, lunch, dinner, coffee breaks, you can enter in how much it costs per person and how many functions you're going to have. The next thing is event marketing. Now if you're planning a wedding or a social event like an anniversary, um, you can use you know, graphic design and website development. Um, you can use your wedding invitation uh, and some other uh, features in here instead of uh, these categories. I've also created uh, a few miscellaneous fields so you can put, plug those in to fit your particular needs. The next one is uh, event production. So your decor, your design, if you have to pay for meeting space, your audio visual, the DJ, entertainment, speakers, and those kind of things. Also, there's a, a field in here for giveaways or goodie bags, if you will. Um, you can also uh, calculate, and that's just more um, production and entertainment. And um, you can also calculate how much your travel expenses are going to be for your staff, uh, whether you're going on a site visit. So this is pre-event expenses. And I've also included those uh, pesky little baggage fees in there so you can calculate really how much it costs per person to send them on a site visit. And then uh, on-site fees, travel fees. So when you're done plugging in all of your uh, known budget items, you hit calculate budget and what it does is it gives you a subtotal of all of those fields so for sleeping rooms, marketing, production, food and beverage and staff expenses it'll give you a, a total, a subtotal in each of those a total budget number and then it'll calculate your cost per person um, cost. So you know that's Really, if you're out, um, I always use the example, if you're out shopping, and uh, as many of us do, we see something on sale and we think, oh, this would really be cute as the table topper, or you know, you're going to order that one more um, giveaway or place setting, you know, plug it into the budget calculator and it will tell you uh, how it's going to affect your bottom line. And usually that bottom line is how much it costs for each person. The next part of the app is the meeting space calculator. So again, you know, not rocket science, but <laughs> it is something that, um, let's say you're at a venue and you're and you know what the venue room size is, but you're not sure how many people will fit with the layout that you want. 
So you can choose whether you want to determine the group size or room size. The default is group, so we'll stay there. And let's say you want to do rounds, banquet rounds. And um, let's say we know that the uh, banquet hall is 2,000 or 1,000. Oops. My fingers are too fat. <laughs> For your room and then hit calculate. And it'll tell you how many people you can fit in that space with this particular setup. You can always change the setup um, and then hit calculate again and it'll re configure the number here at the bottom. It's hard to see with this lighting. Uh, and then you can hit reset and start all over. Or you can decide, okay, I have X number of people. What size room should I or do I need in square footage? Right? Also, you know, while this is um, pretty uh, decent science, I mean, it's not new uh, math, but you also want to allow for what type of event that you're going to have. Again, if you're going to add a dance floor, uh, if you're going to have movement, uh, I, you know, I do a lot of um, events where there'll be dance or exercise, some aerobic activity. So you want to make sure that um, you compensate for your specific type of an event. So um, while using this as a guide is great, make sure that you um, add in those little extras uh, for your specific event needs. But really excited about um, the new app. Again, it's available in the Android Marketplace. You can look at uh, some of the screenshots on the blog. I'll link to it in the bottom of the podcast. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback once you've downloaded it and used it for a little bit. And um, my email is also on the app and the website that you can uh, contact me either on Twitter or Facebook. I'd love to hear your feedback, and um, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.